Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Now, uh, I'd just like to follow on from my previous video in which I showed uh, some more horror movies from my collection which I haven't yet touched upon you know, in previous videos outside this particular series. So, without further ado, uh, let's just get straight into it. So first, I'd, like to, I'd just like to show you the DVD. So the first one I'd like to show you is a uh, oh, fantastic movie. It's set again like the other one I showed you in a couple of videos ago, just set on a passenger jet, and that is called Flight to Hell. Now, this is a very, very rare movie. I've had this, uh, I think it's about over 10 years I've had this now, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's just as enjoyable, uh, enjoyable as the other one I showed you, Flight of the Living Dead, uh, you know, where the zombies are on the, pl on the plane. Only in this particular instance, uh, the horror that, 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 that breaks out on the passenger jet is sort of like a, a mutant insect creature. Uh, you know, it's very, very good in that, you know, it's quite, it's quite gripping in that, you know, yeah, and a good story in that, you know, and, and, and the monster is, is a real, it's like, it reminds me of, it's reminiscent of a 1950s, uh, you know, uh, monster from the, the sci-fi movies that were all ago in the 1950s, yeah, or when, when it really invades the plane, it, it creates absolute havoc on the plane, yeah, so, but if you, if you haven't seen Flight to Hell, I'll just give you a, you know, an outline of the story, now, Don screams out as a horrific monster is about to eat him alive, but when he wakes up, but then he wakes up, it's only a dream, breathes a sigh of relief. That day he bought his private plane, a flying casino, that caters to the needs of the fantastically rich, who wants to play for high stakes at high altitudes. But then the plane is engulfed in a strange thick fog that seeps into the cabin. The evil mist transformed the passengers and the crew, one by one, into the monstrous half-human, half insect creatures with a ravenous appetite for human flesh. Don realises that is his, is his nightmare come true. It truly is his flight to hell. So yeah guys, if you haven't seen Flight to Hell, uh -huh, and you like a good uh, horror movie set on a, on a, on a you know, passenger jet, recommend, if you can find a copy that is, uh, get yourself a copy of this. I'll absolutely love, love, love this movie. It's a good creature feature movie. And as I say, if you like, if you like this sort of story set on a, on an airplane, you know, passenger jet, if you can track this down, guys, it's well worth it. Yeah, you never know. One day they might even release a Blu-ray of it. Yeah. So any, if any of you big companies are watching, you know, Vinegar Syndrome, Arrow, this is a great movie for a, you know, for a, for an ideal transfer. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that is Flight to Hell from two thousand and two. Next DVD I'd like to show you guys is a movie uh, that was made from one of uh, James Herbert's uh, novels, and that is Haunted. Now, this is a real good spooky supernatural thriller uh, starring uh, Kate Beckinsale, Anthony Andrews and Aidan Quinn. Anna Massey's in this as well. She's a fine actress, yeah? Yeah, and Sir John Gielgud, yeah. It's basically about, like, as I say, it's based on James Herbert's novel, Haunted, from 1988. And it basically the story revolves about, around this psychic investigator called David Ash, who goes to investigate this supposed haunting at this big sprawling manor in the country and that, you know, where he meets the family and that. Yeah. But I don't want to go on too much about it in case you haven't seen the story. But yeah, it's a great uh, it's a great uh, movie adaptation of James Herbert's novel, yeah. There's only a couple of extras there, guys, just the making of and yeah making of on a photo gallery yeah so there you go great great cover there yeah so that is haunted based on james herbert's uh, novel great movie real good ghost story right next one up is oh this is a very very notorious movie the last house on the left yeah yeah this is a movie when west craven's a uh, classic chiller from 1972 caused a lot of controversy among the censors and that you know it was released and that you know and um, yeah, I don't want to go on go on too much about it, but most probably, <coughs> most of you have seen. If you're a horror fan, you most probably seen this movie and that you know, and are, are aware of its notorious reputation. Yeah, but uh, I just show you this has got quite a few special features on it there, guys. Yeah, very very brutal movie. Last House on the Left. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I hope to get the Blu-ray eventually at the special edition. I know they did release one a couple of years ago in in a box, but that I think that's sold out now. So if it, I think you can just get the arrow, just a sing, single single Blu-ray in that, yeah. So there you go, very, very notorious movie, a very gripping movie, very, very, very brutal movie. That is The Last House on the Left. The sequel's quite good as well. Next one up is What Lies Beneath, starring Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford. Again, very, very good psychological horror movie and that, you know, good twist and that, you know, yeah. Um, hope to get the Blu-ray... Blue, blue, I can't even say it. The Blue Ray release of this eventually, yeah. 
Um, yeah, definitely the scariest film you see this year. It's a spellbinding supernatural thriller. It marked the first pairing of superstars Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford. Yeah, it's got a couple of spotty features on there, guys, if you want to freeze your cameras and take those in. Yeah, very, very good story, very good twist and that, you know, good plot. So, yeah, so that is, um, yeah, What Lies Beneath, yeah, from a uh, 2000. Next one up is, oh, this is a, oh, this is an absolutely crazy horror movie, this, and that is Basket Case. Picture says it all about the story, yeah, yeah. It's about this guy, like, he has this sort of, like, creature in it, and obviously in a basket, the ep 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 epinous title, Basket Case, this creature in a basket and that, you know. And, of course, once it wants to slap loose, it creates absolute bloody havoc everywhere and that, you know, yeah. Yeah, fantastic movie, Basket Case. I must admit, I didn't care too much for the sequels. Like, they made two sequels, but this is my favourite one. It really is, yeah. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful, this is a Tartan Grindhouse release, by the way. Yeah, a wonderful, gory, insane flick that ranks up there among the best horror comedies ever made. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of special features there, guys, if you want to freeze your cameras and just take those in. Yeah, very, very good horror comedy basket case, yeah, but an absolutely crazy movie, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. So that is a basket case, directed by, yeah, film, uh, yeah, directed, written and directed by Frank Hennen Losser. Yeah, so there you go, basket case. Next one up is oh, another really uh, insane horror movie, and that is Clown. Now, this is basically Eli Roth directed. He's a fantastic uh, director, Eli Roth. Yeah, made many, many great horror movies. I've got quite a few of his in my collection. Now, this is a, this is one of my favourites. It's about this guy like who, um, for, for his son's tenth birthday. He, he puts his he puts this clown suit on and that you know but it, it ends up getting stuck to his body and the nose and that and he can't get it off so it turns out that the, the clown suit was made and i don't want to go on too much about it in case you haven't seen it but basically the clown suit was, was it, it's got demonic demonic uh, de demonic connections and that you know so of course uh, all hell breaks loose if you pardon the pun all hell breaks loose once he puts the suits on he tries he might he just can't get it off at all yeah yeah but anyway enough said on that yeah so that is the clown uh, directed by Eli Roth, yeah, very very good movie, yeah, and that is from 2014. Hope to get the Blu-ray of this eventually. Next DVD up uh, now. Look, uh, uh, this movie is quite rare. I mean, like uh, you know, not many of you might have heard of it, and that is a movie called Baxter, starring uh, Patricia Neal, John Pierre Cassell, and Briss Eckland. This is a bit of a slow burner. It, it's more. It's not. It's not really a hard. It's more of a sort of like. Like a psychological, uh, psychological uh, thrill, but you know it's very, very slow burn. It might be for everybody. Yeah, it was okay. It's not to rave about, but anyway, if you haven't seen it, I'll just give you an outline. Just read you the back of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it it's it got it's got a strong cast and features fe a strong cast features an actor director Lionel Jeffries emotional drama about a young boy facing the combined challenges of his parents' disintegrating marriage, relocation to London, and an ongoing attempt to overcome his speech problem. Sympathetic, moving but never sentimental. Baxter features a remarkable performance from young actor Scott Jacoby. Uh, yeah, and then as a supporting uh, supporting cast, Patricia Neal, uh, Britt Eklund, Jean Pierre Cassel. Yeah, yeah. This is this movie is presented in a brand new digital transfer and its original theatrical aspect ratio. Yeah, just a couple of speeches there, guys. If you want to take those in, yeah, yeah. As I say, it's not really a horror movie. It's more of a slow burn and slow bear slow burn and drama yeah yeah so uh, yeah so that so this was made in 1972 and that is baxter right so we're going on to the blu-rays now guys so the first blu-ray i'd like to show you is another eli roth classic and that is hostel very very brutal movie and that you know yeah uh, one of eli roth's finest movies yeah um and uh, i'll just show you the back here just got a couple of a couple of what's the names there if you want to take those in yeah absolutely love hostel yeah yeah I, I, this is my favorite one out, out of the whole franchise the very first one yeah um yeah so there you go that is hostel from 2005 and then i've got the sequel here hostel part two this, this wasn't a bad movie in that wasn't obviously it wasn't as good as the first one but still not a bad movie hostel two yeah yeah and they are loads of special features there for you guys yeah You've got to have a strong stomach to watch these movies now because they can 
they, be, they can be quite brutal in parts, yeah. So that is Hostel 2, uh, yeah. Uh, and there you go, yeah, from 2007. I had, I did see the third Hostel movie, but I didn't care much for it, so I let it go, yeah. They're my favourite too, yeah. Next one is a Stephen King uh, adaptation, and that is Secret Window, Secret Garden. Uh, it's uh, basically about this um, this uh, writer and that, you know, and he uh, one day gets a knock on his door from this mysterious stranger who accuses him of plagiarism. plagiarism. Now that means stealing his, stealing his story. Yeah, but don't want to go, in, go on too much about it in case you, have, you, know, you haven't seen the movie and that, you know, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a good, not a bad movie, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's based on the Stephen King story, you know, A Secret Window, yeah. But uh, yeah. Johnny Depp does it. Johnny Depp's really on the money in this and that, you know, playing the, playing like this character and that, you know, yeah, yeah. Following a business separation from his wife Bella, famed mystery writer Mark Mort Rooney, Mort, Mort Rainey, played by Depp, is unexpectedly confronted at his remote lake house by a dangerous stranger named John John Shooter, Tortoro, claiming Rainey has plagiarized his short story. The psychotic shooter demands justice. Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. This uh, secret window, secret garden. Yeah, so uh, there you go. So that is from two thousand four. Next one up is Annabelle. Quite enjoyed this movie. Yeah, yeah, it's also like a spin off from The Conjuring and that. You know, and I love this slip cover. Yeah, I didn't care too much for the other Annabelle movies at all. I didn't, I didn't like them, you know. Uh, but this is the, this is the best one in my opinion. Yeah, there you go, guys. There's we're gonna have a look at the uh, special features. Yeah, yeah. It, it's I say it, this is the best one in my opinion, Annabelle, and that you know. I didn't care much for the others at all, you know. I mean, a lot of I know, I know some people like them, but then some people hate them, and of course, I'm in the latter category. Yeah, this is the only Annabelle movie I really like. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So that is, uh, yeah, Annabelle from um, 2014. Next one up is, oh, this is a fantastic movie, yeah. Christian Bale, American Psycho. A lot of horror fans rate this very, very highly, yeah. And I would tend to, I would tend to echo that opinion, yeah. Yeah, oh, this guy is really brutal when he gets going and that, you know, yeah. It's, uh, oh, yeah, very, very brutal movie, yeah. And the picture quality on this edition, I must say, guys, is absolutely pristine, yeah. Absolute classic American Psycho. It's got a couple of special features there, guys, if you want to take those in. Yeah. One of the best modern, modern, modern American horror movies I've seen. Yeah, that is American Psycho. The last one up is oh, another fantastic movie here. Oh, this is a real, real, real chiller, if you'll pardon the pun. Uh, you know what I mean when I show you, say that it is Frozen. Yeah, it's about this uh, group of people who uh, they go to this sort of like uh, resource and that, you know, and they go on this uh, lift, this sort of like it takes them up, you know, uh, three snowboarders and they get stranded. It's a chairlift basically and the park closes down and that, you know, and they're trapped high up in this lift. Oh yeah, it's really, 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 really gripping movie and that, you know, yeah, I don't want to go on, go on too much about it in case you haven't seen it, but oh yeah, and especially the park with the wolves, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, not said on that. I highly recommend Frozen. It's a real, real gripping thriller, and it's one of the best, uh, best horror movies I've ever seen. Yeah, absolute classic. And that is Frozen, and that is from 2009. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, video showing more of me, uh, me horror movies. Now, hope to do another one soon. And that, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, uh, that's it for now. Yeah. If you like the video, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment. And uh, I'll be back very, very soon with another one showing more of me horror movies. Stay safe, guys.